and I'm back with another video. Let's get straight into it, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. What up, gang? I'm back with another video, man. Didn't I tell you this fast food restaurant incident is getting out of hand, gang? This shit getting, I'm talking about, this like the fifth story that I have done with violence surrounding the fast food restaurants. Either the customer killing somebody, shooting somebody, fighting somebody because they order wrong, or the employees killing somebody, fighting somebody because they're. They, they uh the the uh damn customer complaining. Man, this shit getting out of hand, gang. A Arizona win an Arizona Wendy's employee worker hit a 67-year-old man, a customer who complained about his order, leaving him fighting for his life. It's a man 67 years old, old man, complaining about his order. And you got a cust I mean an employee, 35 years old, hit this man, knock him unconscious. This old man is fighting for his life. So you mean to tell me a motherfucker complaining about they order, they fool one right, make you so mad that you hit an old man? Like, yes, old people be grouchy and Get disrespectful at us, at, but come on, gang. You at work, first of all. Let's be professional. That just go to shows that right there give me the energy that you're doing something that you don't want to do. You at a job that you hate going to. This shit is ridiculous, man. This shit is ridiculous. What is we doing? What is we doing, gang? I ain't finna even do too much talking about it, man. Cause like I said, this the like the fifth story with this fast food shit. Like, I don't understand. Is it a curse on the fast food when it comes to energy of making one another mad? It ain't that serious to me, cause first of all. I'm not finna argue with an uh, employee about my food and then expect them to make my food because guess what? I done worked that fast food when I was in school and shit. So you think I'm going to argue with a motherfucker about my food and expect and trust them to go back there and make my food over without them doing something to it? If that's the case, I'm going to just get my money back and haul ass, gang customer point of view. I don't see why y'all be at these drive-thrus, especially at the drive-thru, because you damn sure can't see what they doing to your food then. You at a drive-thru, you argue with a mother, bitch, you better get my food right and da da this and da 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 Oh, wow. Now they close that window. <laughs> you don't know what they doing to your food. You at the counter. You still can't see all the way good depending on some restaurants. What they do, I'm not finna argue with nobody and expect them to not spit in or do anything to my food. So why argue with employees that gotta handle your food, gang? Think, think. Please be smart, guys. Please be smart. Now let me talk to the employees. Why would you allow? A employee, I mean a customer, to get you out your body where you possibly can lose your job. The way you for I'm talking about the way you pay your bills and take care of your family and kids, you will allow a customer to take that from you. Seriously. You will allow the way another being talk to you, jeopardize your livelihood of taking care of your family. 
it don't, it ain't making sense to me. I understand about respect, disrespect, and all that. But sometimes we have to put our pride to the side, stand back, and do things accordingly. Especially when your income is on the line. That's just me, gang. But like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Gang. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Yes, my Patreon will be coming very soon. In a few days, I'll be dropping the link in my Patreon on every video in the comment section. So make sure y'all looking for that. If you want exclusive content, I'm talking about shit that you know I can't post on YouTube, go to the Patreon. You want to see me react to exclusive videos you know I can't post on YouTube, go to the Patreon. You want to see me hanging out or me taking trips, go to the Patreon. You want to learn how to make money on YouTube or social media, go to the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? My Patreon link will be available in a couple of days. Very soon. Probably tomorrow. But just make sure y'all stay on the lookout. Like I said, after every video, once the Patreon link is up, my Patreon link will be in the comment section of every video.